This problem has been taken from GCE, A-Level Computer Science, 9, 6, 1, 8, sample paper. The question is, calculate the shortest distance between the base and each of the other towns in the diagram using Dijkstra's algorithm. Show your working and write your answers in the table provided. This question demands us to calculate the shortest distance between the base and all six given towns. For this purpose, we need to use Dijkstra algorithm and show all working in the given rows and columns. In real question, you are being asked to write final calculated shortest path distance for each town. However, you need to write the detailed procedure, step by step, separately. First of all reserve, one column for each destination or town, to evaluate the least possible distance. Second, assign zero to base, as to reach from base to base, one needs to travel zero distance. We will calculate the distance from base to each town, step by step. As, the distance from base to different towns is unknown. We suppose that each town is situated at, infinite distance. Students are supposed to remember the rules from previously discussed example. Measure the distance from source to a particular node or vertex to find working value. Next, select that node as source, which has minimum working value and make it its final value. In our example, starting from base, we will measure the working values to its directly connected towns. These are, Town 1, Town 2, and, Town 3, Town 4, 5, and, 6 will maintain their previous values as they are not connected directly with base. The closest town directly connected to base is, Town 3. So, Town 3 will be next source and, 2 will be its final value. Now, as Town 3 is included, we will try to find the working value, or distance from base to towns, via Town 3. One can reach Town 5, and, Town 1 from base via Town 3. Previously calculated distance or working value of Town 1 is 4, but, when we calculate the distance from base to Town 1, via Town 3, it is 3, which is lesser than 4. So, we will update Town 1 distance to 3. The distance to Town 5 via Town 3, is 2 plus 1, equal to 3. We have found the final value of Town 3. So, now we have three working values available. Town 1, Town 2, and, Town 5. Town 2's working value is 5. However, Town 1 and, Town 5 have same working values, that is 3. So, we can choose any of these nodes as source. In our case, we select Town 1. Since Town 4, and, Town 6 are still unreachable, their working value will remain same. We can reach from base to Town 4 via Town 1 and Town 3 both. However, the shortest path is when Town 3 route is used. That is 10 distance units. As, we have already found the final values of Town 1 and Town 3. We have three choices of Town 2, Town 4 and Town 5. Town 5 has the smallest working value, now taken as final value. And, Town 5 will be included and, will become source to find the shortest paths to other towns. Now, Town 5 is the source and, included to find the shortest path to its connected towns. Town 5 is connected with Town 4, Town 3, Town 2 and Town 6. The distance from base to Town 2 via Town 5 is, 6. It is higher than the current working value of Town 2. So, it will remain unchanged. The distance from base to Town 4 via Town 5 is 9. It is lesser than previously calculated distance 10. So, it will be updated. Now, Town 2 has smallest working value, or distance so, it will be source for next working. We do not find any shorter path to any connected town, if we take Town 2 as source. So, all working values, or distances from base to towns will remain same. Now, out of Town 6 and Town 4, Town 6 has smallest working value, or distance. 
so, it will be source for next working. Up till now, students can see that we have finalized the shortest distance among base, to five different towns. If we select town 6 as source, it will also not affect any shorter distance from base to any town. So, all values will be unchanged. The only town which has not been selected as source to find shorter path is town 4. It will also produce same result as in case of town 6. And, all working values will remain same. So, the shortest path to all different towns and calculated distance or final values would be something like this. Students can use this video voiceover to describe the procedure step by step in part B. Thank you for watching this video. Please, do like, share and subscribe our channel to watch useful videos like this. You can also write in comments if you want videos on any specific topic.